And on today's trending, something that harkens back to my childhood in a couple different ways, Lego and Nintendo together at last. Yeah, and giant things. I don't know if that has anything to do with your childhood. I don't, maybe your family was attacked by giant <laughs> things. I don't know, but this is a giant Nintendo controller that is made out of Lego. Very cool, this is done by multimedia artist Julius Von Brunk in New York. Built this thing entirely out of Lego, 1.5 meters worth of Lego. Uh, he doesn't know exactly how many bricks went into it. I'm sure plenty were stepped on while he was building this thing, but it's all Lego pieces, Lego plates, technique bits, hooked up to the circuitry of an original NES controller. There's, this, there's the little circuitry right there. And yeah. so he's got the whole thing set up and you can see he's having a whale of a time going around the track. I Mario Kart. What, no, that's not Mario Kart. I don't know what huh? game that is. It's like Wipeout or something mm. like that. But I'll tell you, the thing that stresses me out, I love everything about this, but I just get stressed trying to imagine playing Super Mario and trying to get that flag at the end because you need to hold down to the right, you need to hold down the B button, then you'd have to hit A with your elbow yeah, because it's true. Well, you, you need can't a friend. run and jump. You need a friend. You Lego with a friend. friend. There you go. See, it's making friends. Now I'm Aww. trending. Okay, when we come back, Lucas and his friends at CES are going to show us a fantastic new app that helps your fingers fly over those awkward iPad keyboards. You've really got to see this, and it's next.